today I have for us a Jackson's Art Haul. Um, I haven't ordered from Jackson's before. It is based in the UK. Um, and I know here in the States we have a place called Blick Art. Um, so I do like ordering from them as well. But I wanted to go onto the Jackson's website and see if there was some things that I can't get here in the US. Um, so perhaps some of this you can't get here in the US unless you get it from Jackson's. Or perhaps you can. I, I did my best, but I had a lot of fun looking all over the site um, to see what I wanted to get. And we just got back, my husband and I, from a work trip yesterday. And I checked the mail and this came in and I so badly wanted to open it, but I wanted to save it for today when I um, open it on camera. So let's just open it. I don't have my scissors with me. Okay, so we're just going to use... This letter opener. Nope. Maybe I can just rip. Haha. -ha. Oh no. Doink. Okay, just use the pull tab, Jacqueline. <laughs> mm. Yay, yay, yay. I love opening things. Yay! Okay. I don't even remember what I got. I ordered this a couple weeks ago. So this is a company that I saw another YouTuber use. And it's called Pith. And I wanted to try their paper um, with it because this is supposed to lay flat. And I've never had a landscape version of a sketchbook. Oh, that's going to be really nice. Now, I know the um, it may not take wet material very well, but I think this might be more of my drawing sketchbook. But look how flat that is. Oh, that's so exciting. I love a good, like, flat lay sketchbook. And I thought maybe I'd put, like, a cute sticker on here or something. Um, this is really cute. Look at that. That's so pretty. Yay! Yeah, so I thought I'd decorate the front of that so I can show that in a future video. And then I got a couple little items. Okay, making a mess here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is something that I know you can get in the US, but I really wanted to try it. So another YouTuber, um, Katie Moody, she likes to use this uh, Posca pen to like lay down a layer and then she'll put on like her other mixed media pieces and I've never ever tried a marker before so I got the color beige um, so that I could test that out. So that'll be really exciting. And maybe I'll swatch these. I'll open that in a second. Um, I also got myself some more, well actually I think I only have like one Caran Dash Luminance colored pencil. But I wanted to get a few more colors. Ooh, these are pretty. Okay, so if you've seen um, Katie Moody, you know I'm inspired by her with her bright colors. So I definitely wanted to get some. Those are pretty. And they already came sharpened. That's kind of nice. So I got the olive yellow, the burnt ochre, and the light cobalt blue. So those are really pretty. So I will slowly but surely um, build up my collection of colored pencils. Right now I just have a jar of Prismacolors that I got a long time ago, um, but I'm wanting to slowly add other types of colored pencils, so very excited about that. Um, I've also heard of this company, A Galo, 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 A Galo, I think. Um, and it's honey, like watercolors that's made with honey. So it's going to be a little bit stickier, but the colors look so vibrant and beautiful. Um, I wanted to get this one blue color. I think it's called Harbor Blue, but it was sold out um, for the time being. So I went with this Sartorio Red. So I'm pretty excited to try that. So let's get this out. Oh, that's so cute. So these are made in Italy, a gum arabic binder, 
and honey as well. Let's pop this off. Or maybe push it out. Let's see. There we go. Pushed it off. Oh, it's kind of nice. They're in these little tins here. And they already wrote the name on for me. Good, because I, I have okay handwriting, but maybe not so much when I write it on the side. So I'm very excited to try this out. And then one of you told me on a, I think it was my car kit that I bring um, of art stuff to potentially get a water soluble um, graphite. So I found this, this art graph. Um, it's supposed to be a little, okay, that's a bigger tin than I thought. Oh man, that's so cool. This tin, that's graphite, and you dip in with your watercolor brush. Oh, that's very cool. Made in Portugal. Ooh. Yeah, see the graphite coming all off. Oh, that's going to be a lot of fun to play with. And probably should clean it up. Totally okay. Oh my gosh, yay! So those are all the things I got. So I'm going to set this up and I'm going to go ahead and like swatch some of these fun little things that I got. So hold on one second. Perfect. So I have my sketchbook here and all these little pieces and I have a scrap of watercolor paper so that I can test these out. Um, yeah, I think I'll do that. I'll just use this little scrap of paper to do it. So first we'll do the colored pencils. So if you haven't heard, um, the Caran d'Ache Luminance pencils, they're really soft leads and they just have beautiful colors. I've been enjoying the one that I do have. Oh wow, that's a pretty sky blue. And go lighter with it. Ooh, I like that. That's pretty. And then I got the Burnt Ochre. So I do a lot more landscape type things. And in my sketchbooks, I've been playing around doing more with colored pencils and graphite pencils, just regular pencils, you know. And I've been really, really enjoying like the dry media as well, which is why I got this sketchbook to be more dry media. Um, and then this one is olive yellow. Oh, that's so fun. That's a perfect like summery spring green, especially with like new growth on, um, you know, on trees and bushes and whatnot, because sometimes it's really hard to mix this color, like with paints or something, to get this really vibrant green. So I'm excited about that. Um, I also got this Posca pen, which I have no idea. I'm supposed to shake it and push down. Okay. There we go. I'm starting to see it. So it can fill that nib with the paint color. Oh yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty. Yay. Those are just bits. I think it was like dry there. Now it's more smooth. That's really pretty. Yeah, I'm excited to play around with this. I haven't ever used it before. Wow, and I struggled today. <laughs> well, that's really pretty. It's just a really soft, peachy beige color. Just wipe that away. Now let's play with these colors. So I have just um, my favorite watercolor brush. We're gonna go into this again. It's a uh, Sartorio, I almost said Santorini, um, Sartorio red color. I thought this would be really nice to mix when I'm making my greens more earthy. Maybe get water on my bristles, that'll help. Let's go cream. Ooh, that's pretty. That's very pretty. But yeah, I thought that this would be perfect. I don't have as many like of my brown earth tones, so I'm trying to get more of that in my collection. 
And again, I thought it'd be really nice to make all my greens a little more earthy and more toned down than being super bright all the time. That's really pretty. Yay. Now we're going to play with the watercolor graphite. Open that up. And I'm going to use um, my brush pen here, my water brush pen, um, because most likely I'd like to be able to put this in my toolkit that I have when I go in plein air painting. I also wouldn't mind getting more of these brushes that have different um, widths and sizes of the bristles on here because it's just really, really nice. This is my favorite watercolor brush, but it would be nice. Um, sometimes it's just so windy or something out and I don't want to have to have my water jug out or anything. So I bring this, but I also love these. But let's let's play around with this. I've never done this before with water graphite. Oops. That's pretty amazing. It's literally just like watered graphite, like water soluble graphite. Wow. Have you ever used this before? Oh, that's going to be a lot of fun. What? Oh my gosh. I want to use this regular brush too. You can get really dark with it. And light with it. Wow. Okay. You can kind of like move it around while it's still. Like, let's see here. This one's a little bit more dry. Let me feel that. Oh, my hands are already dirty. So let me. And a clean finger. Yeah, you can kind of blend it. When it's wet, you can play, yeah, blend it more. That is really, really cool. This is really fun. Oh my gosh. Okay, you have to tell me if you've ever tried this, like, water-soluble graphite before. Um, I might have to watch some videos to kind of learn more about it. But I was very excited, and it wasn't that much money either. Like, five, six dollars, maybe? Um, five or six euro as well. Wow! Okay. So I'm a fan. <laughs> of all these, and I know that you can also, like, with this, like, draw over it as well. That is really fun. Okay, I know that we all love when you get new supplies to so just, like, play around with it. And it's very, very fun. I've never done it, like, on camera before. So I hope that you like this. Ooh, can I... Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to hit my head on there. I don't know. I'm just playing around now. <laughs> wow, this is so fun. I see why people like to do mixed media. Because you just get to layer things, play with things. You know what I mean? Oh, that's so fun. Okay, so I hope you all enjoyed this little unboxing slash mini swatching. I know this is like very random little pieces, but I set myself up to spend around $40, $45. That was my limit I wanted to spend. And I kind of wanted to make it go really far to where I got to get more than just one item because art supplies can become very expensive. So I'm pretty happy with getting this watercolor, this watercolor graphite, a couple of colored pencils, this marker, and this sketchbook. I think this duo is going to become a fun little thing. 
um, as well as just regular dry media. Again, I don't, I'm going to test this out um, later, how well it takes water things, because I don't think the paper is terribly thick. It's like a medium thickness. It's not, it's not terrible. Um, this might tell us, yeah, 200 GSM. So it's like not crazy thin, but not super thick either. So we'll play around with that um, later as well. Oh, that's so cute. Um, but let me know in the comments below if you've ever used this sketchbook, these colors, any of these things that have tips. Um, I, I know how to do colored pencils, but like this Posca pen is brand new to me. This is brand new to me. I understand watercolor and colored pencils like pretty well. But if you have any tips about these, please let me know. That would be, that'd be super helpful and fun. And I will see you all in the next video. Cheers.